Subhanallah, in, in, um, you know, I remember when I was doing HIF, there was one, uh, one student who made this comment and it really got me thinking. It was cautionary. He said, you know, I feel like because I'm doing Hif, the only ibadah I do is read Qur'an, and I used to love reading Qur'an, but now because all I do is read Qur'an, I'm losing everything else. Right? And our Shaykh said, you need to engage your Iman in different ways. You've got to find other ways to engage your Iman. Uh, for those of you that do Islamic work, okay, particularly if it's in a professional capacity, you better be doing something else as well as a form of Islamic work. Don't get one tracked in what you're doing. Switch it up all within the avenues of the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ as a way of keeping your Iman constantly engaged. Allah gives us seasons, right? Nafahat, seasons of mercy, so that you don't get uh, too one tracked. That's the point of Ramadan in the first 10 days of the Hijjah, Ashura and Ayyam al Bid, the three middle days of the month, and Mondays and Thursdays. All of these times, Yawm al Jum'ah, in the week, in the day, the, the, the hour after Fajr is not like two hours after Fajr. And the hour before Maghrib is not like three hours before Maghrib, right? Allah gives you those different timings so that you're not moving in a stationary way.